So, first up is question for the day. What is your go-to album or playlist for when you travel on a plane? The reason I'm asking is on Sunday I'm flying up to Svalbard. I'm starting our Arctic expedition next week. And yesterday as I was processing images, by chance I found the one that I normally go to, which is Acoustica by Scorpions. So I'm not looking for music that's like, I'm not, I'm not looking for that. It's not the kind of thing that you're jamming off to your meal and you've had a couple of whiskeys and you break into song. Not that. I'm looking for something that when they, uh, when they turn the lights off and you kind of after your meal and everything settles down, that you put on repeat. So you have noise-canceling headphones, which is a must, because it cancels out the hum of the plane and the screaming babies, and then soft music. So let me know what yours is. I need some suggestions, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to Acoustica, though. It's a pretty good one, but I need more. Um, what else? So this morning I was thinking, driving in, that I think it's the Japanese that have this thing that says everybody has four masks. The first mask you wear, not for COVID, no. Uh, the first mask you wear is your public face. It's the one you, you have with people all around you all the time. You take that mask off. The next one is the one for closer family and friends, closer acquaintances, yeah? You take that mask off. The next mask is the next mask is for the people really close to you, and you take that one off, and you're the last one. So I was thinking, this week for me is prep. So it's not just preparing and getting stuff done. It's also thinking ahead. What a stupid little thing. I'm not here over month end for me. So you've got to make sure all your debit orders go off. You must pay people. Blah, 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 so all of that, right? But I was thinking, it's a certain mindset that you need to go to, and people in the industry will understand this. It's a certain mindset of going in to host a trip, to guide an expedition. And I was thinking, even though I'm going to dial up that side of what I do, it doesn't mean that when I'm at home or when I'm doing my life coaching that I'm different. I just think we all have these different elements to us that if you dial it up in the right situation, that's when you execute at a high level. Maybe it's like sport. You are you basketball. You, you can dribble. You can shoot three-pointers. You can do layups. And depending on what's needed at the time, you dial up that strength. So it's not like, not like you change, but you, you know the situations in which to use which of your strengths. I think it comes with a lot of self-awareness. Some people have none, but that's where I think you're going to start doubling down is when you know what you're good at and when to do that thing. The thought that came to mind now is the right advice at the wrong time is the wrong advice. The wrong strength executed at the wrong time is the wrong strength. So i have kind of slowly wrapping my head to get back into that kind of expedition travel because it's, um, it does take, you can't just be the same person at home. It'll always be me, but I'm dialing up different strengths. Same when I'm doing life coaching. It's always me, that's the essence, but I'm dialing up certain elements as and when needed. And I think that's something that a lot of people can learn from that you need to focus on is be aware of who you are. That sounds like a Lion King quote. Remember who you are. No, that's Mufasa and the water. Um, damn it. Coffee, hang on. What was I saying? Oh, be aware of who you are and know when to execute certain things that you do well. If you don't know what your strengths are, that might be a problem. So figure that out first. I can help with that. Let me know. Um, that's that. I started processing images again. Uh, my website revamped www.jerryfinnevel.photography. I'm slowly uploading stuff into there. So I've taken all the galleries that was there, taken it away, and I'm starting fresh. I want a new look and feel to the images as well. Um, yeah, I think we level up on different things as well. I think, so, mm, I'm how do I say this? You go through a stage where you feel you need to change, you feel you need to change. You fight for it, sometimes it's difficult. You cry and fight and scream. And then a couple of weeks later, you look back and you realize, I actually have leveled up. You've moved past that. You're doing something better. You're doing more. You are better. And I think photography-wise for me, it's been a long time, but I also want to, I don't want to just post the wildlife stuff anymore. It's, I'm finding it personally quite mundane. It just keeps on ticking. And it is so heavy on the subject that the rest of the composition sometimes doesn't matter. Well, it seems like if I look at what I see. So, yeah, I'm just going a bit of a fresh approach there. Looking forward to go and try that in, um, in Svalbard and in, I should know this, Iceland.
yeah, so that's me. Um, okay, I'm going to go get stuck in. I've got three or four videos to record today, two podcasts, one to wrap, one to start from fresh. Those will all be out later today on Instagram and YouTube, and I'll pop in as I go. But for now, though, let me know. Question for the day. What is your favorite airplane chill time album or playlist? I'm going to go have a good one. Bye.